casual wrestling fan, okay? That's my first wrestling pay-per-view I've watched and probably... Don't lie now. I feel like I can comfortably say over six years. No need to lie. I feel like I can confidently, I can confidently say first wrestling, the main event, or wrestling event I watched in over six years. Um, that was a good WrestleMania. Rob that was underscore a really good is underscore Ray underscore Beast just resubscribed bro, for seven months. You. W fucking Cody. Yo, swallow, bro. Appreciate you for the sub, gang. Uh, W Cody, listen, bro. We gonna talk about underscore it. Samurai just Matches. resubscribed Why? for thirty-four months. Yo, what's up? Ten out of ten. Check. Oh, Daryl was there. Daryl, how was it in person? Hey, what did I think of WrestleMania? Swallowed up underscore just resubscribed for 26 months. So since all these content creators been in wrestling, when you gonna come out of retirement, gang Trey, so side eye. What are you saying? What do you mean come out of retirement? Live underscore cheered X100. Got ahead to the library. My nigga finally finished the story. Crying face. Crying uh, face. He finally finished the story. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. We're going to talk about that. I, again, I didn't watch every match. Um, I was doing laundry today. I was watching it in, in the middle of laundry and shit like that. Um, but the matches that I did watch were some fucking good matches, man. Those were some really, really good matches. Okay. What is this? Full Saturday highlights. Oh, we could have watched that. They dropped that. Do they got that today? Jalox 14 just resubscribed for 35 months. Yo, Jalox, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. All right. Every match cooked. Y'all feel like this show ended earlier than the show did yesterday. It, it, matter of fact, it did. It did. Because yesterday I went live at like 11 my time. Now we're 10. All right. But the Triple H era, ready to be. Listen, listen. Ready to be peaked? Listen, Triple H, he's the one writing the stuff as, as live underscore as I cheered X100. Like the, the Houston Deadman, aka The Undertaker, pulled up, crying face. Speed was there. We're going to talk about it. Yo, let's get straight into it, man. So, um, just for a quick intro, bro, honestly, bro, as I think this was a really fucking good pay per view from a casual standpoint. Now, from a hardcore standpoint, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um, for me, this was fire, dog. Like, I'm sitting here watching this shit. My mama came downstairs. Probably like 30 minutes ago and see me watching wrestling. She's like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, look, they got it. I say it look like it's like old times. So you see me watching wrestling. This is fire. All right. Uh, let's start with the first match that I see from today. Seriously, though, speed there was great. Yo, seeing speed was so fucking fire, bro. Look Ordinary at this underscore BKP just resubscribed for 10 look months. Gang. <laughs> hey, Ordinary, appreciate you. Listen, I want to go in order. Dog. Oh, this is KSI. Hey, I want to go in order. So we're going to get to the speed clips. I promise we're going to get to them because that shit is so fire, bro. That shit is... That, that was tough, bro. Chat, W match or not, I hate wrestling. Listen, this was solid. Bro, you got to understand, we are a low-key wrestling community. We don't like... Me underscore all the time, but when we do, we nerd 100. the fuck out. All the matches were fire, but Drew Murataya sold. Listen, that shit, that's, that's tough, bro. Drew got hold. Like, haters eat a Frank. Low key? Bro, I feel like, because we don't talk about wrestling all the time, but when we do, bro, the discussions be fire. We have great clips and great moments. Fuck it, we in here. Bunch of dweebs in here. Fuck it. Bisexual Undertaker. What the fuck is that? I'm hockey. I know you hockey, but I'm saying as a community all together is low key. Okay, this is Drew McIntyre entrance. I didn't see this. Let's see how far this is. Drew played himself. Drew McIntyre got on the table. Freaky as fuck. Bro was tripping. Fuck Chicago for what? What the fuck? Get up! Just Bobic Nick 7 Mill. just resubscribed for 11 months. Yo, just Bob! Free day for the goddamn sub, gang! Yale and Joe 5 just resubscribed for 19 Silence. months. Silence! Thank you for the 19 months, gang! 
Boy, this fucking work. We about to entertain Meek you. underscore odd three cheer dicks 100. Is, like about ya I was waiting for Walkman to save Cody. Oh, no, it ain't. Walkman was not finna fucking come out. Imagine. And if a nigga come out looking like Walkman, that's a nasty motherfucker. He needs help. Hey, this is a tough interest. What the fuck? On some Game of Thrones shit. This is hard. Oh, this is tough. But perhaps the next world heavyweight champion. Timu hat. What it was Timu? I don't know what that is. The fuck you get out of trying to expose me, nigga. I don't know what that is. Do one need to come out? I seen I seen uh I seen Seth uh shit. So apparently this is like Philly in New Year's how it looks. What the fuck is this? Short stream, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth, y'all. This stream won't be longer than three hours. But we are gonna play some Max Payne, though. What happened to Lamarck one? I, 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 I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish it. Really, Philly shit. Okay. What the fuck is this? I didn't even know Philly. Y'all had this culture, y'all. What do I think? Don't know if you'll get to it, but I sent a catfish vid with clips we haven't seen yet. Okay. The real Philly. Jay underscore this new to me. Two just this in New Orleans. For 14 Yo, listen, months. listen, that boy. I, this this remind me so much of New Orleans shit. Now I'm not saying Philly stole it. This is just a side of Philly that I've never seen, but. The most I've seen, like this just this just reminded me of like a lot of shit that I'll see in New Orleans. Look at this dude. Like King Mummer. Seth Inch has been top tier. Oh boy. That's our champion. See a punk, the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, I've been around forever. Way. Yeah, yeah, Dolo. I I I believe you. I just never seen him. I just never seen him. Bearcat Nation Yo, Bear, 16 just resubscribed for 22 months. Outrageous Shit won't let me use my prime sub. I don't know what's going on my channel. They hoeing me. I appreciate you though. Drop part of me, please. Yo, Zan, I promise that bitch on the way, bro. I'm dead ass. How many times you gonna have me keep promising you, bro? It's coming up. I got you, bro. I'm kind of saying Sip took two ills for two nights. Look at this. This is kind of tough. I ain't gonna lie. It's all right. Well, listen. I, I, listen. I'm getting these facts from our producer Brian Fatta, who actually lives here in Philadelphia. This is what New Year's looks like. New Year's Eve with the mummers. Bunch of dweebs in, in here. I, I remember Jason Kelsey dressed up as one of these things. It's about damn top. Cody, finish the story. The Jason Kelsey. I know who Jason Kelsey is. He is Taylor Swift. All right. Wait a minute, nigga. These the interests. What's the fight? Oh, right, here we go. We'll get to this fight. I think that this match when I watched it was a W match, but this shit was a bunch of them doing finishes. Ladies and gentlemen, for the 58th time in WrestleMania, oh, start that bitch off with a finisher. Wrestling so boo boo now. I'm gonna I'm tell you the truth, bro. If you saying that, bro, just don't come back to wrestling. It's okay. You liked it when you was a kid, and that's fine. But I'm telling you right now, as an adult. I understand why people are still watching wrestling. This shit, wrestling is starting to become more mature. You hear them cursing. You hear them having adult themes and matches and shit. This shit is all right, bro. I think that wrestling is in a fire place. And this is from a casual standpoint. I do not watch wrestling. Wrestling is in a nice place. Also, this nigga in the green is dirty as fuck. The nigga in the green, bitch, you wore the same fit yesterday in the same seat. This nigga in the green, dirty as fuck. And Rollins kicks the toe. You ain't even switched the shirts. Yeah, for somebody who's concerned about how Seth Rollins. So the, the storytelling in this match is fire, bro. So this is my understanding. CM Punk got injured fighting Drew McIntyre. He really got hurt for real. 
The whole match, Drew McIntyre been telling Seth Rollins, the what leading up to the fight, he need to stop worrying about Cody shit and focus on him, right? In this match, he was not focused on on on, on, on Seth. He kept worried about CM Punk. Focused on him, he sure isn't focused on Seth Rollins right now. And CM Punk just said it. About how Seth Rollins isn't focused on him, he sure isn't focused on Seth Rollins right now. Taking selfies. Yeah, I see you, you goof. <laughs> you hear him? I see you. Do you hear that? See him, punk. Top to heel, nigga. Went for the future shock. Seth Rollins able to take advantage of McIntyre screaming at Punk. Looking for a pedigree out here. See him save the match? Drew tweeted during the match. Did he really? I see the nigga took a selfie. Look, bro, I'm telling you. They hit so many of them bitches. Damn, they ain't got none of the match in these highlights. Y'all some whole ass nickels. All right. Oh, he did. He tweeted. <laughs> Bro, his mom wasn't on the match. Bro tweeted during the fight. Take this card, damn. I got you. Oh, this is my dog, Daryl. Daryl went to the event. Dare I know that ain't you screaming. Dare I think this is you. I believe this is you. You should have sent me this clip. You probably didn't even know it was a nigga screaming until we got the clip. And <laughs> 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 this is my nigga Daryl. <laughs> but it's so hard. Oh my God, this is tough. Hey, Daryl, I'm not judging you at all for screaming and being lit. You in there, if you in the arena, W motherfucking Daryl. W Daryl. Bro, let me tell you, when you in, when you hear, the shit is different when you are in person. That's why I was so hyped at the Texans game. I be hype at home. But when you in the arena, I'm telling y'all, bro, shit different. It's not the same, bro. Like, I can only imagine how the fuck I would have felt John Cena music popping off you and you don't know officially he's there. I ain't gonna lie, my boy. Some solid motherfucking seats you got. I lost my voice, chill. Hey, Daryl, bro. Daryl, I don't want a pocket watch. How much was these seats? These bitches is tough. These is nice seats. Oh, man, bro. Look at my dog. Look at it. This hard, bro. This hard, bro. Look at my boy, yo, Daryl, man. I hope you enjoyed yourself, dog. It's funny yourself, how niggas bro. be like, why are you watching this fake ass wrestling shit, but watch anime and get tattoos of the shit also that man you talking about is called green shirt guy. He sits in that same seat with the same shirt on for the past 10 years at play. Say word. Bitter Hrafet one just resubscribed for 33 months. 33 Green months been guy. watching since you were a tadpole. Now you're a full grown bullfrog ribbit. 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 Yes, bro. With that mustache, 10 years? I ain't. Damn, well, I ain't been once wrestling for for 10 years. So, wait, wait a minute. You say, you say at, at PLE. Like, is he only at pay per views? What a legend. Look it up. Let me look it up. Green shirt guy. Oh my God. Green shirt guy, WWE. Somebody put net worth. Who is this guy? This guy is literally at every single event of WWE. I hope he's not mad. I'm posting this. Who is this nigga? Who is that? Wait a minute. The 
Look at the green shirt galore. Nigga brought this, this nigga be an AEW. This nigga braided like a motherfucker. What the fuck? All right, let's keep going. My, my bad green shirt guy. I remember Chris Jericho checked him. What Jericho do to that nigga? Seth really a fucking loser, man. How are you trying to help another nigga win a title and lose you own in the process? Finn better. Hey, relax, bro. Relax, bro. So Drew McIntyre wins the title. And I'm not... I, I'm not okay. All right. He hasn't necessarily done it in a manner that everybody loves, but Drew McIntyre. Seth, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You are one of the biggest losers of WrestleMania. I'm being honest with you, man. Yesterday, you fought trying to help Cody and everything. You end up getting hurt. You wasn't 100 percent for this match. All right. Uh, you end up losing. You end up losing the goddamn match. And then you you leave in the ring. Congrats, bro. You deserve it, bro. Congrats. Get your ass out the arena, nigga. Get your ass out the motherfucking arena. All right. Then later on, you tried to help and then fail. So he gets on the table crawling freaky as hell. Not worried about he just won the belt. What's out in your career? Why are you, why are you here? Why are you in my face? Why are you making it about me? Niggas, I want to rub it in your face. Give a shot. I want to spray to my wall. I ain't never won a title and heard other people change somebody else's name. Oh, I ain't know he did that. <laughs> oh, now you got to whoop his ass. <laughs> oh, you got to whoop his ass. <laughs> Hey, bro, say you gotta whoop his ass. Ain't no way a nigga gonna do that. Sir Duke Fresh 53 just resubscribed for 42 months. Yeah. Yo, Sir Doug, appreciate you, bro. Hell no. Nah. I ain't never won a title and heard other people change somebody else's name. Oh, jeez. Hey, bro, Nigga took the motherfucking brace off. Nigga, it's CM Punk, bitch. You know who the fuck it is, nigga. You thought you were gonna do that in CM Punk's face? Nigga took the brace off, nigga. You're bugging. And then... Oh my God, CM Punk throwing up that brace and assaulting the champion McIntyre. Bitch! Oh, stop that nigga in expensive dress shoes. That nigga like a mob boss, I swear to God. <laughs> nigga, did he blow a kiss to his girl? Then the nigga with the money in the bank. Comes out to cash it. Nigga said wrestling in a bad place. Nigga, this is cinema. This is cinema. You hear me? I love a good money in the bank cashing. I love it. Oh, man, I love it. A fucking movie. Nigga, why y'all keep calling this nigga bisexual undertaker? Watch this live was insane. Yes, it was. Cause I was I, I had my I was I was in there running. I heard Ricky them screaming like, Yeah, Pro I knew it! He just subscribed. Yo, yo, uh Prodigy, thank you for the sub. Damien Pre- BITCH! 
Bro, Tay, you gotta watch this shit live, bro. Dog. Oh, that nigga do the take. Oh, yeah, that nigga really the freaky taker. He the freaky taker. I ain't know that. That nigga got a freaky, uh, uh, he got a freaky goddamn, uh, close ch choke slam. She lost her voice. I ain't gonna lie, that, this nigga, that choke slam look tough. I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you what. I be seeing new wrestling moves, but like, man, y'all, they finish her ass. This nigga finish her tough. Bitch! Dude, McIntyre ain't no little nigga. That's hard. That's the motherfucking way to start the show, bro. That's the way to start the show, bro. All right. So then after that, so listen, let me tell you what. I told y'all I don't really watch wrestling. I think they might have me hooked just for a little longer because now I'm interested in seeing the CM Punk and Drew McIntyre story. I It's CM Punk. You think I'm going to miss CM Punk wrestling for real? Like, if he in a fire storyline, I might have to check that out. Now, I don't know if I'm watching the whole show because I, I got to check. Fuck CM Punk. Why ain't you from Chicago, nigga? Why we taking your car? All right. Let's go to the next show. They had fucking Bubba Ray Dudley as the ref. What the? What that the musical chairs, Woody? What's up? It remains to be oh, no. Oh, oh shit. Watch your back, oh, my God. Watch your back Bobby. Oh, Snoop Dogg, what the fuck are you doing? Here by Cross. That's gotta do it. Oh, no, watch out watch your back, back, Bobby. Oh no, and they have Dawkins. Dawkins suffering the same round. Oh, oh man, that's that puppet stick. Oh, oh, oh in the air, mid-air. Trey, no! Oh, what's hey, bro. Oh! Let me tell you what, this motherfucker be flying. Dog. What the fuck? Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, come on, Bubba Ray. Oh, man, what a rise. Damn, that shit fire, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. WWE, you got me fucked up. We watching it. They said get the tables. Right now nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's this first table is kind of crazy. Congrats, Tavio, having a Tavio. Guess right. what, chat? Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. Let's I'm gonna be a. Oh Let's shit, Tavio! Congrats. Santel 2 XS just resubscribed Santel, for eight months. Appreciate you. What's good, gang? Let me tell you what. This, this first table was a fail. <laughs> Them niggas fuck this shit up. <laughs> hey, hey, that nigga out of the table that bit broke. Dog. Uh -oh. Y'all didn't secure the leg. That's Bobby Lassie's oh, fuck up. Hey, look. You can tell they look. Oh, shit. You're fuck up. That nigga got some big ass shorts on. That's some shorts they had in couples court the other day. God damn. Shout out to Trent. On a hell of a run right now. Say, man, the star of the show is that whooping stick. That stick got camera time tonight. I think there's about to be some hang time from the man that almost jumped into the front row. And then this how they end the match. Bro, this nigga right here, all right.
Chat, what's the W match tonight? What y'all think? I liked it. It was, a, it was a pretty fine match. Now, to the niggas that came to my Twitter, let me go ahead and see who you niggas was because I, I seen you niggas. AJ, Bryce, uh, Lil So Yeah, Kenny. Stop at me anytime Bobby Lashley wins. The next match, we got LA Knight versus um, AJ Styles. I was excited to watch this match, even though I didn't really get to watch a lot of it, though. Bro, first of all, the why niggas ain't tell me the storyline on this shit was fire. Let me go back. Radio all units. Radio all units. Be en route to the Styles residence. En route to the Styles residence for a physical fight in progress. 10-10 in progress. That's a crime. That's wrestling. 46 in the route. Oh, bro, pulled up. Yeah, he put up on that nigga. Look at these niggas. <laughs> these niggas in the yard wrestling. Police, police, stop fighting, stop fighting. I ain't that nigga. Now this wrestling. Get him on the car. Get him on that car. Get him on that car. Get him on the car. I ain't telling you that. I told you. I told you wherever you are. That nigga say wherever you are. Live underscore cheered X100. Watch this clip of them fighting at the meet and greet. Hey, I'm gonna press charges. Absolutely. I'm gonna have to go to jail. Absolutely. Look, I can meet and greet. I got you. That boy said, I will come back. AJ Styles, that nigga pulling your whole car. Let's get him in that car. Let's get him in that car. Show up next week. See what happens. I'll come right back here again. Get in the car. Get I'll be right back get again. Get in the car. Get in the car. Yeah, I said it. Get in the car. I said it. Yeah. Get in the car. So, boom. Them niggas squabbed at the house. Hold on. I got you another one. You know, you're the reason that he came to my house <coughs> and assaulted me in my own front yard. Mm. Yeah. I should have had his ass locked up and brought in jail and missed his first WrestleMania. Oh, but I've got bigger plans for LA Knights. I want the biggest spotlight possible for LA Knight, and that is WrestleMania. AJ, big and shit. Let me tell you what, this nigga is juiced up over there at WWE. I remember AJ Styles being the skinny nigga on TNA hitting three, four flips in a row. This nigga, big and shit now. And I will expose him with the overachieving, under talented. Piece of trash that he is. Yeah, I know, I know. Vic Alda said he asked LA Knight not to be here tonight. But I guarantee you, LA Knight is here. Mm. He could be the cameraman for all I know. <laughs> hey, I didn't think paranoid. <laughs> Hey, hey, LA Knight had the nigga shook. Boy, nigga hitting the cameraman. What you gonna do? Nothing. Get out of my ring. Hey, shout out to the thousand in the chat. LA Knight, that ain't saying much. Hey, get him. That's him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll show you. Security. I knew you were here, Ellie. Who the fuck is that? I like to creep around my home and act like a goblin. I don't know why, but I just enjoy doing this. Maybe it's my way of dealing with stress or something, but I just do it about once every week. Generally, I'll carry around a sack and creep around in a sort. Hey, nigga, I'm telling you right now, bro. You need help, dog. Real shit. You walking around your own house on some hunchback shit like a fucking goblin. This nigga, once a week, he has to unleash the beast. I'm concerned for you, nigga. I'm so concerned. And then, and then you gonna come and tell us. How can I help you? How can I help you? Bro, brother, please stop. <laughs> 
You know you need help, bro. This nigga needs some help, dog. Yeah. Anyway, let's go back, bro. Get it out of here. Get Who the fuck is that? Are we done with the games? Huh? LA Knight, if you can hear me, are we done with the games? Because I will not be playing any games at WrestleMania. Look at this nigga. This nigga went disguised as security. This is wrestling. This is cinema, nigga. This is wrestling. Tonight, I will not Look at this fucking wig. <laughs> hey, why I ain't telling me this shit was going on? Down your throat. <laughs> Nigga ain't tell me what's going on, bro. Knight bringing the fight to the phenomenal one. A mega star side. God damn, he whooping his ass. Thousands and thousands chanting in unison. God damn. LA Knight takes out Styles. Because I'm a new trade, Cal. Pretty impressive disguise by LA Knight. Not Two feet from us. I that nigga had that wig on. I thought I could smell Kavorka in the building. I was wrong. Styles avoiding disaster. Almost had his head taken Look at this nigga running. This, this is wrestling. And then on top of that, one of the subs gave us this link. At the wrestling pre-show. The pre-show, where they just supposed to be doing interviews, these niggas still fighting. This is some real hate going on. Hey, hey, this is some real hate. I ain't no nigga squab right here. And break these niggas up, nigga got jeans on. That nigga fighting in Joe Jordan One's mid. Get ready to back up. I seen this shit on Twitter. <laughs> this nigga just grabbing and hugging. Get your asses on. Now, I did see on Twitter after they broke this shit up, AJ Styles' nose is bleep. But let me tell you what, this is how you build WrestleMania. So now that y'all know a little bit of the backstory, if you're not a wrestling fan, you're casual, like how I'm casual, now you can see AJ Styles came out for his interest and said, fuck walking down. The nigga came down, new music, ready to squall. Bitch. The crowd fuck with LA Knight. This nigga wrestling in 12 zone. Beyond bad blood. This is downright toxic. These two men want to ruin one another. They've been fighting on site. Hey, was this a good match? For all my wrestling fans. God damn. Oh my God. It was cool. LA Knight now. Gonna fly. Styles now straight into our announce table. The match ended weird though. I don't know how it ended. Is it enough to put him away to kick out by Styles? Knight now turning the tables. Series of clotheslines. Side rush and leg God swing. damn. Their personal issues got so out of control. Uh, they have cost what kind of freaky ass Jordan, Jordan 12 he got on? Back at the Royal Rumble. And they're throwing blows at a press event. He's too to test one. L.A. Knight. Booting the hell out of AJ Styles. Oh, and another knee right to the face of Styles in the corner. LA I don't rolling. like LA Knight drill. Maybe it's me. Can't let it go up and smoke. Oh, oh no, nah, that's real hate right here. Nigga took, nigga took the padding off. Here at the ringside area. What is LA Knight thinking over here? LA Knight knows he needs to do something drastic. How's this for drastic? LA, don't do this, man. Come on. LA, no. LA, don't do this, man. 
LA Knight. Yeah! And a back oh, and it no. cost him. Oh. AJ now lining up LA Knight. Springboard. 450 incoming. No, oh shit! Knight got his knees up! <laughs> hey! Man, y'all some hoes for these fucking highlights. LA Knight measuring his man. That nigga finished all right. That's gonna do it. LA Knight ended up winning this match. I feel like there's some solid highlights from the Logan Paul match. Now, this is the match that I really want to talk about because it revolves. It revolves us, man. You got um Logan Paul versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Kevin Owens. I didn't watch this match at all. I wish I did, though. I see, I seen Logan Paul entrance. That nigga had a big ass prom truck. This is the I have a feeling, Cole, it might be a good idea for us to move because I've seen a Randy Orton match or two. It looks like Owen's gonna give it a shot. I will say, God damn. This match was great. Now they're meeting. I think Randy in his early 40s. Randy was explaining to Kevin to get a little bit higher on it. As Kevin Owens destroys the hydration station, brought to you by Prime. God oh, damn! Wow. And here comes a double cannonball. Kevin Owens okay. senses an opportunity to become the United States champion. Randy's down. Logan's my nigga, forty-four. Oh, oh shit! Up. The swanton Logan got the knees up. This green shirt nigga distracted me, bro. Fast, fast paced matchup. This matchup was fire. Er, now perched on the top rope, delivers his own swanton. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Cover on Orton in a kick out. KO looking for a pop up power bomb. RKO that nigga. Went for the start. Oh, Orton's going to win the title. Cover. Hook of the leg. Kevin Owens gets the shoulder up. Get up, Randy. Well, Orton hasn't moved. I mean, ah. the Viper's a sitting duck right now at WrestleMania. Logan Paul just needs to decide how he wants to finish him off. Still got those knocks on. Childhood memories, I'm telling you, bro. Watch me. One of the greatest finishes of all time. Watch me. RKO by Orton. Oh my God. Bro had bro had some brass knuckles on. Right. Fried. So I can find a full clip on this though. So at during this match, now we're getting back to wrestling. During this match, oh you got it. Oh, I appreciate it. I just found it. You know what? You're a fucking W. Thank you so much. But during this match, bro, Logan Paul, last time he had KSI dress up as the prime uh, mascot. Randy Orton going back to his legend killer days in the prime bottle. This nigga was about to get punted. Randy Orton going back to his legend killer days in the prime bottle. Just pulled Logan Paul out of the ring. Nigga. I really wish I fucking was watching this match, bro. I really wish. <laughs> Cause this nigga's a fucking idiot, bro. Oh, what a shock. Is that, no, no, that's ISO speed. speed. Hold on, I get back. Paul, one of the most popular streamers on the hey, planet. I, I skipped your donut, but I re, I'm gonna replay it. This nigga barking and shit. Dog. Oh my god. Speed. No. Hey, dog. He really hit my nigga with the biggest boots. Dog. This nigga real life fail far as fuck. Okay. Okay. Hey, you better do 
what you got to do, Randy. Hey, let's blame all this on the guy in the prime bottle. Hey, it's the prime bottle's fault. Our show speed was running his mouth uh, to the bottle. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen Randy fired up like this. Uh, yeah, he he wasn't ready. ready. Yeah. Metaphorical Spartan pit. Yeah, Randy's pissed. Uh, Nigga, speed got foams on and shit. <laughs> and then I get RKO with the foams on. Dog. Do you know how tough this is, nigga? Dog. The dog is dead. But look out, this shit. Yo. This shit is so tough. Big fucking W's. First of all, to Logan Paul. W's to Logan Paul. That's the W man. But also. W fucking speed, bro. W speed. That's a that's a far segment. And like one thing about me, I love seeing YouTubers like expand and doing like big shit. It don't gotta be me. And like watching speed doing some shit like this, like, like I feel I'm like damn, nigga, that's a win for them to all of us country creators, bro. That's fucking tough, dog. I bro, as as a lifelong wrestling fan, I would love to do some stupid ass shit like that, bro. Ain't he racist? Uh, where you get that from? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not accusing that nigga of nothing like that, bro. Shot the nigga, bro. The nigga got business with KSI, a big goddamn company. He just put speed on in WWE. Where you get that from, bro? What are we doing, man? Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, bro, this is, oh, this is a W, bro. This is a W. Let's get to the end of this match, bro. Uh, we already seen this. So after that... I actually don't know how this match ended. Randy set out of the ring. Wait. Logan Paul's top rope. Frog God splash. damn. Cover. Athletic ass frog splash. Wait. Logan Paul's top rope. Frog splash. Uh, that frog splash is kind of freaky. Gosh. I skipped the RKO. We just watched it, bro. We just watched the RKO. You came in a little late. We just watched it. The underscore quiet underscore one Yo, just quiet. resubscribed for 16 months. Yo. Paul is athletic as shit, bro. What the fuck? Is your winner, and still the United States champion, Logan Paul. That's hard, bro. This nigga really, really a, a WWE champion. That's super tough, bro. Chat. Uh, oh, I think I asked y'all. I think y'all liked that match. That was a good match. And then now it's time. Oh, we gotta watch this one. We can watch this Bailey match. What else they got? They got the Live card. underscore cheered X100. Right after the speed go, it was another one. Right after the speed RKO, it was another one to who? Uh, we gotta blame WWE for not for me not seeing those highlights, man. They didn't want to show me, but I appreciate you. I don't want this to be the whole interview. Is this some of the fight? Okay, we're not gonna get everything in this match, but we're gonna. What's she doing being Egyptian? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck going on, man? Oh, she Mexican? Oh, she Mexican? Oh, all right. This this shit feel more Egyptian to me. I didn't know Baby was Mexican. Is she real? I don't know. I didn't know that. Oh, Aztecs? Oh, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. Billy 
last held a world championship. Her last name Martinez. I never knew that. That's how you know I don't watch wrestling. She pure Mexican. I didn't. Well, you could have fooled me. That's fire. Shut up. An opportunity to win the WWE. She got a weak ass cut though. Nigga, what? Bro, what the fuck you want me to do? What an entrance. Bailey is fired up tonight. Man, I'm from Texas. You know how many white women I know that look like Bailey? What the hell you want me to do? You just see the excitement in the eyes of the challenger. <laughs> That's deeply personal issue. Love? But Bailey has never lost the love, the passion that it takes to succeed in this business, to make it to the pinnacle of this industry, which is WrestleMania, which Bailey's done before. There ain't no but damn racist. Are as high as they've ever been tonight. There's no doubt that I've had my problems with Bailey over the years. Milkman Trey was, you yo, what are you talking sorry about? sorry for what she went through, forming the group damage control, only to have them turn on her, stab her in the back, which leads us to tonight. Bailey hey, the Royal Rumble match at number I three. did she catch some of this match. Power. This was solid. What did, I, what did I think of this match? to win the event and would choose EO Sky to face on the grand stage WrestleMania. Eight out of ten. Trash decent fire. Bailey Seven to ten fire match. Good match. The pretty WWE good. Universe the match is fire. Eight to ten. Okay. Let's see how well. these highlights hit. It's go time. Bailey, your interest okay. I'll give you that. Well, tonight Eo Sky gonna have to hope things turn out better for her than last night turned out for the rest of Damage Control. She turned up. Yeah, Bianca Belair, Naomi, and Jade Cargill knocking off the Kabuki Warriors and Dakota Kai in a six-woman tag team matchup. Pat, we talked about this today on the Countdown Show. Eo Sky has True been aura. one of the most underrated champions in EOS WWE guy? over the past year. Yeah, supreme talent. Massive piece of Damage Control. Her arrival obviously sparks some issues with Bailey, but she seems to go into the zone here. And when she gets in the ring, real geek, are you a seen reason her? she's the champ. An absolute weapon. Rosa Crucian Park, Michael Cole. I was correct. I just had that verified by another Bay Area friend of mine. Well, awesome. I hope that Bay Great Area. Work. I hope that Bay Area Park you is prepared say Bailey for. A Championship fight with EO Sky. Ah! Ah! The bitty ass screams. So it's getting thrown out the house. In the biggest moments, Bailey has shined the brightest. Show Tay and Bailey could not have landed in a worse position. Yeah, bad knee and all. EO Sky looking to take advantage and what? put her away. Oh, oh shit. That could have done it. That might have caused the irreparable damage to Bailey. She had a torn ACL before. I mean, that... EO now making the climb to the top. The genius of the sky. EO top rope. Moon salt. Bailey's down. Beautiful. Okay. An instant classic. I wonder what, what's up finishing? Yeah, and EO sky she looked kind of high. Away, perhaps to retain the championship. Up to the top rope. Genius of the sky. Gonna fly once again. Burns oh, oh, shit. Her knee up, but her knee buckle again. Bailey had full leg extension. Got two boots in the gutter. But did you Best moonsault in the game? As soon as EO the moonsault? Okay. Course, it may have hyperextended. Somehow manages to escape Bailey. Bailey big as hell. Bailey center of the ring. Come on, Bailey. Cover for the win for the title. EO kicks it too. Wait a minute. That's Bailey finisher? A Billy to Bailey? Okay, Bailey. And Bailey with a Bailey to Bailey. Uh, yup. Oh, that whole ass. Somehow, man. Oh, her old finisher? Stop it. L oh, oh, okay. Okay. That, that her old, huh? Oh, it's her signature. All right, all right. Just to escape Bailey. And Bailey with a Bailey to Bailey! Because that bitch is weak. I swear to God. That bitch is tragic. Center of the ring. Come on, Bailey. Cover for the Boy. win. For the title. EO kicks it too. Big elbow by Ooh. Bailey. Okay. 
Bailey can feel it. Can she do it? Oh, I did see this. That be solid. I get it. I get it. What game this can is? W Jiggle Physics. I get it. I get it. I don't got a problem with that finisher. That went okay. That went all right, yo. That's way better than the belly debater. Hey, I think I seen they said it. This is her first time being a women's champion. Talk about gutsy. Nigga, what's your finisher? The biggest boo. Talk about courageous. Talk about brave. Bailey did it all tonight. Now nah, it is. Oh, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. Io Sky. Oh, first time in four years. Okay, all right. All right. The 49ers fan wins a championship match on the Philadelphia Eagles field and gets a standing ovation man. from everybody. Oh, how sweet it is. Yo, from what I watched of that match, I seen a little bit of it. Like, I seen that finish. Oh, it, was a, it was a solid match, bro. Solid match, dog. I remember when I first seen Bailey. I seen her when she had, like, she used to have, like, those, uh, what's them little, uh, them little wacky arm niggas that be all, they be, like, having all that shit. When I first seen I was like, nigga, she about to be the guy, the two men thing. I was like, bro, she, she look like the female John Cena, bro. She about to be big as shit. I seen all the little kids was fucking with her and everything. But, chat, it's time for the main event talk. It's time. Let me try to get my clips ready. Let's see if we can get as much as I can. We can't watch the whole match, <clears throat> which is pretty unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? We can't watch the whole match. But uh, we don't want to get banned in this motherfucker. But I'm going to watch as much as I can. Chat. Cody Rhodes finally finished the story. WRL main event. What do y'all think? W for show. I'm so, look, I'm seeing an overwhelming, an overwhelming amount of W's. All right? Nigga said, I'm going to clear the chat. I'm so glad that y'all got what y'all wanted. Y'all got a good pay-per-view, man. I think WrestleMania all together was really fucking great, in my opinion, bro. I think that it was. This is the first clip that we have. The following contest scheduled for one fall will be contested under bloodline rules. And it is for the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Nigga, what is the entrance? I didn't, I don't, I don't know where they at. Which one for me? Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 222 he is the winner of the 2023 and 2000. Hey, Chad, I heard Trey punch Guapo. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I heard Guapo punch Trey in his shit. Who the fuck told you that? And why they lying? 2024 men's Royal Rumble match. The Dick and Wings is not a thing anymore, bro. Was, it never was a thing. This fight gone get your dick hard gang no diddy. Just say it was a good fight, dog. Just say it was a good fight. Let's move past it. Move past it. A lot of Cody Crybabies here in Philly. And his opponent, accompanied to the ring by his special counsel, WWE Hall. Don't play with me, Frog. What, what, Sonny, what are you saying? Paul Heyman from Pensacola, Florida. I hate Roman Steele fighting that leukemia. 265 pounds. Yeah, he I seen that shit. Well, I, I heard, I heard that. Listen, I get y'all was tired of Roman. I get y'all was tired of the bloodline interfering. I understand it. But let me tell you what, from a casual perspective 
and a dude that tunes that's just tuning in. Well, maybe I'll say I tune in every now and then. Roman Reigns is a good fucking champion. Oh, no, I'm sorry, a great one. A great champion. And Roman Reigns made this match more than Cody, in my opinion. I'm going to tell you why. The Bro, like, the WWE, y'all doing a good job of, like, when, like, y'all get the cameras close and we can hear what the wrestlers is saying. When Roman started talking shit, he be like, nah, bro, this nigga tough, bro. This nigga tough, dog. He's a hell of a heel. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the ninth inning. I don't know if they're going to show it, but in this match, Cody Rhodes took a table out. If he does not get the job done, and the crowd went crazy. That nigga Roman Reigns got out, beat Cody up, put the table back, and was like, nigga, no. And they all started booing out like, nah, that nigga tough, bro. That nigga tough, dog. All right, boom. Let's go to the next clip. Goosebumps. Roman Reigns. It is Cody Rhodes. It is for the undisputed championship. Sold out tonight at WrestleMania. Watch, listen, bro. Hey, uh, Mac, shout out to you, my dog. I can't watch the entrances, bro. I, I was honestly, we we not gonna miss much in the entrances. It wasn't that much of a difference. Yes, it was. Roman Reigns had um Discord after I got you. Roman Reigns had a band come out and play his music. It was fire. Cody Rhodes had that. We ain't missing much with the entrance, dog. Well, let's let's talk about the fight. You know, I'll let the chat decide because there's a thousand y'all here. Do y'all want to watch the entrances or not? Y'all let me know. I'll go get them. If y'all, if I'm seeing more yes than no's, we'll go get it. I'm seeing way more no's. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let's get to the fight, man. I hate you, chat. <laughs> now he hates the chat. He don't get his way. Y'all some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boy, y'all funny, bro. This is tough, bro. Cody Rhodes so, flinch. Let me tell Cody you what. I knew when this match started, tonight, it's time for me to lock in and focus on this match, bro. I was doing laundry. I ain't even finished doing my laundry, bro. I was like, nah, fuck that. It's the main event time. So after this clip is over, now we're gonna get into the match, bro. Um, I wish I could show a little more of them, like the middle of the match, but as you can see, if I go to their uh today, to their stuff, they they don't really oh, what is this? Oh shit. They got the whole highlights. Uh y'all see, I didn't want to see the entrance. We can skip those. Yeah, they just put this up six minutes ago. Yeah. Wait a minute, nigga. Oh, hold on. Oh, we ain't there yet. All right, after that point, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to the clip. Let's do this. Let's go to what a move by Cody. Cody's second row. Yet again, went for the cover. Rolling this play, no, the 10 already look. Listen to Roman during this. Roman end up stealing bro finisher in the beginning of this match. Cody second rope. Yet again, went for the cover. Roman Not in the beginning, but like a little from the middle. And now Roman on crossroads. That is it. Roman stole it. Kick out. What? Roman. What's it? I knew it. His own move at WrestleMania. That was disrespect. That was an insult in addition to injury. An extremely effective crossroads. <laughs> that move you imagine you know Cody lost the match on that? I just want to shove it in his face. Whoa, bro, bro, use his finish and say, I knew it. Nigga, that move fucking trash. He don't win no matches. Man, that move don't beat nobody. Like, I love whooping his ass. No, bro, bro, whooping his nigga. I love whooping this nigga ass. This nigga trash. To shove it in Cody's face and did that by driving Cody's face 
into the ring with the cross. Age like milk. Roman wants to work on that. Obviously, it's fun whenever you work on something and then it pays off. Another weapon in the arsenal that is our tribal chief's bag. Whoop minds. Son, get your freaky ass out of the chat. Oh, yeah. Locked and loaded. Good uh, reverse. Bitch. Who's out of harm's way. And now Cody with a left hand jab. Going to work on Roman Reigns. You're going to jab it as Cody Rhodes. Bottom of Galbo. So the match. Honestly, man, get another match. They did a good job. I don't even know if they're gonna show. They went in the crowd for a little minute. Um, let's see. Well, they they're not gonna show it on here. They went in the crowd for a little minute. Roman started to ball. Started to start. Well, no, sorry. Cody started balling, and then niggas came out trying to start helping Roman. So we're gonna watch the highlights. This is what we have. Jimmy and Jay on the collision course. And I skipped the yeah, I know. Bro, listen, it's a lot of shit I'm going to skip. If y'all would like to DM me the clips that I'm skipping, please do that. Because I, I know I'm skipping a lot. I'm trying my best with the shit that I got, man. I don't have it all. You know, you know, the WWE, they ain't going to give you everything. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Discord DM. Send the fucker the intro. What the fuck, nigga? Yo, Zan, we reacting, bro. I can't check this go right now. Jey Uso taking Jimmy out of the equation. Bitch. So hey, I'm not going to lie. This right here was tough. Jimmy Uso. This was tough. And Jey Uso. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This was tough, bro. Can Cody put Reigns away? Hangs on. Come on, Cody. Roman on the ropes. Crossroads again. Cody going for the trifecta. If I do have a clip that they skip, I got. Oh, damn it. Solo. Solo, come on. You knew Solo was going to make an entrance on this match, bro. You knew it. You knew it, bro. And this is why it was Solo last year who reared his head and cost Cody the story. And now Solo is going to pull the Tribal Chief over a fallen victim. Yeah, he's going to hand the championship to Roman Reigns. He's going to hand it right to him. Covered out by the official. Cody got his shoulder up. Nigga came and hit Roman with a fucking F you, dog. Uh oh! With an attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. Nigga. Hey, when John Cena get this ball spot in the back of his head, my coke and Mario Get Game just resubscribed for seven months. Me and my boys yeah, are going no. crazy for us. <laughs> Like yours. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not bald at all. And I ain't bald in the middle of my head. I ain't gonna lie, I think you'd bald in the middle of here. You might be fried, bro. Don't wish that on me. Chill out. Listen, when this music came on, I got so fucking hyped, bro. There's a few, like, the music that, that like, that, that, like, how can I say, you know, a big pop gonna come out. You get excited when you hear this shit. When you hear that John Cena theme, that stone cold glass shatter. That if you smell, nigga, when you hear these, like it, this shit just hit different, nigga. When I heard this, bro, I felt like I, I could just remember how how excited I used to get as a fucking kid hearing this. It's time to play the game. Oh, another underrated one, nigga. It just pop out. You think you know me? Oh my god. 
This to the crowd! Cena kept touching his hair like he not used to having that hoe. <laughs> it was in the way, bro. Dog, listen to the fucking crowd, dog. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh my yeah! God. Sheena's this is tough. And then, like, this is this is storytelling, dog. This was a main event if I ever seen one. Yes. The amount of meat being served, I would have thought I was in a butcher shop. And it makes sense that John Cena came out for Solo. Now, I don't watch wrestling, but uh, I was informed... Solo is one of the last people to beat John Cena when he was wrestling. He beat John Cena at a fucking pay-per-view. So he comes out and gets his revenge on Solo in a little bit of a couple of ways. John Cena he helps take him out. Bro, the way that they've been like telling this story for so long. Attitude adjustment. Nigga. John Cena. This is cinema! This is wrestling! Pulls up, three-pointer. Bang! Bang! It's good! Wins the game at the buzzer! No. Pulls up, three- Nigga, nigga. Nostalgia at the nostalgia, bro. Holy Look, the nigga shook! And the rock come down to the ring. Loki! Bro come to the ring looking like the final boss, bro. Bro come to the ring looking like the final boss. This is one of the greatest things I've ever witnessed. This whole damn match. The Rock makes the fucking call. He bought the coming story shit talking. George Cena. Sticking his nose in bloodline business. Talk about Russell. Dog, and then this face off. Please don't cut it. Don't cut it short. Don't cut it short, WB. Nigga, this this main event is a ten out of ten. This is a ten out of ten. Dr. Boyce just resubscribed for eight months. Love the streams, gang. Big respect, it. nigga. Hey, uh, yo, boys, appreciate you for the sub. I really thank you, gang. Hey, I'm Cena. When that, when this happened, you need to get a low fade. Swing off, Get up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god, nigga. Bro, whole time people was thinking, man, fuck that. Fuck that, man. You know what? Stone Cold might come out. Nigga, when the Undertaker came out, I was like, nah! Oh, Gang! Oh my God. It's only right he come out to WrestleMania, bro. Holy Christ! The dead man coming! Nigga. Choke slam! Bro hit him with a choke slam? Undertaker's back in WrestleMania! Turn the lights off, him and the rock is gone.
Cody. Hold on, before we get here, let me see if any of these clips skip anything that I can show again. Look, we skipped this part, but it don't matter. So, before he came, before the Undertaker came out. They played the shield thing. What the, what the, no, and a lot of niggas thought Dean Ambrose was coming out. And I was like, low key, that'll be tough. No, 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 no. Guys, guys. The Rock awaiting. Their arrival, this is impossible. My delusional ass did. Oh. Oh my god! Seth Rollins! Seth Rollins, you are a fucking chopper. <laughs> this nigga ain't even make no impact. I, I, he came in the ring. He ain't even had a tear in his head all the way. Nigga, I won a Superman Their punch. Arrival, this is impossible at this point. Dog! <laughs> <laughs> I, I gang, he's not even in frame all the way. Oh, oh my God! Seth Rollins is this in the ring with a chair and This nigga got clumped. I dog, I bro, bro got cooked. Just stop, Seth. Bro got, he look like Peter Griffin, dog. Get out the rock, Seth Rollins. Get down in the old. This yeah. nigga is so lucky the Undertaker came out of nowhere to save the day. Then after this, we finna have to go back to the club. After all of that happened, it's just these Dig my two. nigga Seth Dirty took three L's in two nights yes, SMH. He did. Night one, Seth gets injured, speared into the barricade. He loses. He, he's one of the reasons why they lose the match. He comes in the beginning of WrestleMania night two, Loses his fucking title. Then, he in the back. Man, you know what? Man, what an owl black at I help. Come out. Your intro song uh, was longer than your appearance in this match. Gets punched on. Really had Seth out here looking like a matcher. If you know, you know. Look, I ain't gonna lie. You, you got me with that one. I don't know what that is. I don't watch anime like that. But, dog. Now it's just two people. This is the damnest match I've ever called. Ever. Yeah, the Undertaker just choke slam. And let me tell you about cinema, man. The Shield was a was a good stable, right? An amazing stable. What made the Shield break up? From what I know, I I, I might be wrong. Seth Eli Rollins underscore two underscore hit godly Roman cheered X one hundred. They got Seth out there look like in walk. Yeah, you know, no, he don't look like no motherfucking wop. Look, let, let me, let me, uh, hold on, let's play this. In case you haven't figured it out yet, what I do better than anybody is adapt. Last night was plan A. Tonight, <laughs> plan B. There's always a plan B. This is cinema. Nine years ago. One of the reasons why it was gone. Are you kidding me? Why the seal oh, broke up. God. God damn. Damn. You guys are on top of the world. Why the world is Damn. Damn, nigga. Oh my God. Rollins is destroying Ambrose. God damn. So we already know that they had a problem 
Roman always had a little bit of a problem with 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 uh with Seth because nigga, you are one of the reasons why the greatest well one of the greatest tag teams of all time broke up. Right? I fam what size shirt do wear I want to send you a couple of shirts from my homie brand. I see your donation, so I know you got bullshit coming on. I look. Never mind, he doesn't have eight XL shirts. Bang. That one didn't hit because I looked. You're done. You're done. Now, it's a faction. I'm sorry, tag team faction. You get what I'm saying? Tomato, tomato. All right. Tribal chief is wielding a steel chair. Roman with a tear in his hand. My boy got flashbacks. Fucking payback. That's how you tell a fucking story. Yo, Triple H, you on you in your bag, bro. So after this, this is how the match ends, bro. Rhodes middle of the ring. Crossroads. Cody's not done yet. Cody with another crossroads. Is he gonna do it? Can he do it? Is this the Rhodes moment? He took my nigga Roman out, man. <laughs> yeah. Took my nigga out, man. Story is finished. This is how they finally finished the Cody Rhodes story after two W after two um Royal Rumble wins. Last year losing WrestleMania. Getting his ass whooped. He finally has the title. Wife come in the ring. I ain't gonna lie, he got him a cool one too. Who that is? Dusty Proud. That was a fire match. Let me tell you what, that match was spectacular, especially when they went in the crowd. I really like this part. Hey, she don't want your ass, nigga. She, want no more. she, don't want to. she obviously don't want that. She would call the Rhodes. WWE champion. Damn it, Cody Rhodes. Finish the damn story. Man, fuck the story, nigga. Cody got my respect. Now he do. Let me tell you what, Cody Rhodes. The Cody Rhodes story is an amazing one, though. Job of this, I'm telling you. I was in, I was in a disco with Ricky them and I. Uh, Ricky was like, they got 15 minutes left. Somebody got to. Well, he, I think he, th he thought that somebody was gonna come out. I knew nothing else was gonna happen because you can't ruin this moment. You can't have nobody interfere or nothing like that. Like it was over. I remember when he was a little kid. They grow so fast. Damn, he's like, oh hear that nigga, what the fuck? But nigga. I remember Cody Rhodes from, um, like, I'm talking, joking about you, but like, but when I was watching wrestling, Cody Rhodes was garbage. Oh my God. He was a nigga with a list. He had black hair. He was in Randy Orton. No, this is before Randy Orton stable. He was ass. Cody Rhodes was so fucking ass, nigga. Talk oh, that nigga was trash. But. Later on, they, they turn that nigga to Stardust. He leaves the company. 
go to AEW, boost up his stardom, comes back. Cody Rhodes, one of them damn dudes, dog. One of them dudes. So for him to be here... Was Cody funny. Rhodes don't know what to do with that. She need an African alpha male to handle that. He can't handle that he don't know what to do with that. And yes, I'm hating. She need a handsome young African thoroughbred like myself. Who the fuck gave you the right to call yourself a thoroughbred? Second of all, she don't want you, nigga. She don't want your motherfucking ass. Zane, why you keep spamming Discord DM? What the hell you want? What you talking about, bro? The kid next door. Oh, bro, this nigga linked me this video. WrestleMania. Oh, this nigga linked me the full match. Boy, you trying to get me banned. Fuck yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We ain't watching that one. We'll keep speed on here. I appreciate that. You're a real nigga for that, though. You're a real nigga. You're a real nigga. Hey, Zan, you sent me a video of a frog. I will not watch any frog videos. Y'all niggas gotta relax with them bitches. Get that shit out. I'm tired of looking at the same frog videos 13, 1100 times. No, I'm not showing them fucking frogs. Have you not noticed in the Reddit videos, y'all send them frogs, I start skipping them? That frog shit ain't funny. It ain't funny. And I'm not finna pretend to laugh at them bitches. That frog shit not funny, boy. Y'all, you wonder why it ain't funny? Cause y'all niggas send the same frog shit. You know how many times I seen that frog sitting on that on that fence? Damn, Trey just chilling. Trey just chilling. If you niggas can find new ones, maybe it'll be funny. You niggas rotate the same four frog videos and expect me to laugh. Get them bitches out my face. Now this frog video, I've already seen this shit. It's two frogs fighting in the water. This a new one. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, I'm not showing chat, bro, because we taking the stance, bro. We're not playing that shit, bro. That shit is not it, bro. Rip it. I mean, if you call me a fraud, it don't really matter to me. What is this? Randy Orton, John Cena, taking out the entire Raw roster. Live underscore cheered X100. Yo, chair squeaking hard AF. Yes, bro. I bought this fucking chair. This chair sucks. And you just heard it. This chair is ass. I didn't have people ask me, do I have a dog? I don't got no dog. People asking, did I just fart on the phone? I didn't fart on the phone. What's that? It's my chair. Oh, that chair. Oh, I just bought this chair two months ago. Hey, Trey, can you make the noodles more noodle? -er? I was there that shit was so lit. Especially when Cena came out. Cody was the perfect person to be Roman. There was really a bucket list check off for me. They story was really perfect. The Seth chair shot was really full circle. Yeah, that was fire. That was fire. Man, um, <clears throat> just so we can finish this up and be done talking about it. Uh, I think that WrestleMania this year was a, was a definitely a W. I don't think, what the fuck is this? Travionti, why do you look like Project Pat today? Get out of here, nigga. Um, get a new beanie, nigga. Yo, shit. Yo, fuck you, boy. What is this clip? <laughs> What's so emotional? Stop. What? She was emotional? What is this? <laughs> Got something going on. Now I'm playing. I'm playing. Let me stop. 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 Uh, I'm pretty sure for all of, for everybody that's been around and been around Cody Rhodes, no bullshit. They happy for him. Did you watch your match? No. Get that Bobby Lashley shit out of here. 
You're done. <laughs> bro, I'm joking, bro. Bro, Zen, I'm not showing the frog, bro. I'm sorry. We're not looking at that shit, dog. I'm real shit. I'm not showing that shit, bro. That frog shit, I'm telling y'all, y'all put that shit in the Reddit, it's getting skipped. Until y'all find new Deck shit. Conductor just resubscribed for five I'm telling y'all, I'm dead serious too, bro. Like, y'all, I, I guess y'all didn't notice I've been skipping that shit. Until y'all find new shit, I'm going, I'll, I'll show it. I don't care about being called a frog because I don't look like no fucking frog. But I'm not finna keep reacting to the same six videos every fucking two months. I'm not doing it. Find a new frog video. If it's a new one, I have no problem reacting to it. But I'm not watching that shit. I'm so sorry, bro. Y'all keep sending the same videos. And I know I'm not the only nigga in this chat that's tired of seeing that shit. I'm speaking for the niggas without voices. I'm, I'm not the only nigga tired of seeing that shit. I'm not showing it. <laughs> nigga, get that shit out of here, dog. It's the same five videos, bro. Nah, play shit. Y'all nigga gonna keep asking. All right, but anyways, though. Shout out to my nigga Zando. You know I fuck with you, though, gang. Pull it. Nope, because y'all niggas trolls. Not gonna lie, getting old, that shit is ass. That shit is ass. All right, but chat, we not talking about that no more. We're gonna get past it and stay to the content. Let's stay in the content. This nigga ego is trash. Man, please. I'm gonna, this is my last time addressing this shit. How long? We gonna, let's take a step back from the content and then we gonna get back into it. How many times y'all want me to laugh at the same shit? How many, how many times? How many times, bro? Trey is willing to keep the dukey content, but frogs is where he draws the no, line. No. Okay. No, it's not. Let me tell you what. All you niggas that DM me the same, I go to my Instagram DMs. You keep sending me fucking frogs. Have you noticed I stop answering your DMs? It's the same fucking videos. You niggas, when I'm in the VC, what up, froggy? Have you noticed I stop answering you? That shit is not funny. Be funny. I have no problem with niggas that's funny. Get that shit out of the fucking community. It's not funny. All right? It's not funny. Like, and I'm not even no nigga. I, I, I'm not even no nigga that's on no shit like that. You know I don't even talk like this. That shit is not funny. It's fucking repetitive as fuck. Get it out of my face. I'm tired of seeing it. Y'all y'all drug that shit to the ground. You drug it. So since y'all niggas drugged it, y'all drug it to the ground, I'm done with it now. All right? I'm not talking about that shit no more. It's, it's, it's hockey corny. All right? Thank y'all. Now, anyways, bro. Anyways, chat. Going forward now, I don't know if, like, I don't think I'm going to be watching a lot of wrestling, though. But I am intrigued to keep watching. I see niggas saying that, like, how long y'all think Cody Rhodes going to keep the belt? Like, I don't know if he's going to hold it for as long as, like, um, as Roman did. I, I just don't, I don't see that. I, two months, six months? I, I can't see him losing the belt in two months. Live underscore cheered X100, which was better think... Kofi Mania or Cody finishing the story. If you haven't seen Kofi Mania, please check it out. I did see Cody winning the belt. That's a good question for the chat. I don't know. I, I think maybe, I think maybe, maybe, um, maybe the Cody shit might be better because just because like, how much nostalgia was involved with current day stuff. It was a good blend of nostalgia coming in, but keeping the current shit relevant, a blending of two eras. Plus the, the Cody story was a long time coming. I think the Cody shit was, I think the Cody shit was better, but let me see the Kofi shit. Who was the champion? Oh. This one was solid. This was a great moment, bro, because it's the first time a black person has won the WWE championship. This was a great moment. Oh. This was weak. I don't know if it was weak. Look, look, they got the black people in the back celebrating. <laughs> Where's the high power instrumental? Where's the high power, nigga? I gotta put this on the sound bar. First thing happened, that nigga win, black nigga start celebrating.
Watch the build up. This trash. Why is trash now all of a sudden? Wait a minute. Yo, come on, man. Why is this trash all of a sudden, bro? When this happened, I seen a lot of niggas like this shit. Green shirt guy? Let me see. Let me see this green shirt nigga. This motherfucker's wicked! What the fuck? Kofi measuring the champion! Kofi is not the first black WWE champion. Who is then? Because when this happened, they had all kind of niggas. They had MVP coming into the ring. The Rock. Oh, shit. The Rock. All right. The Rock. All right. My bad about that. The Rock. I get you. I get you. Get you. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I do remember this. Bro, Adriano they treated this. underscore 512X just resubscribed for Adriano, 12 months. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Bro, after this happened, um, they had all kind of like, um, what do you call it? Yeah, all kind of black superstars coming to the ring. MVP was crying. Of MVP, who obviously you know very well, and the late Shad Gaspar. Who RP Shad, man. VV Zero Gang Seven cheered Dex One Hundred. The green shirt dude is well known for being in that spot for years at multiple WWE PPVs. Yeah, I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. I see. I, I I've never known it. I've never known it. RP Shad. So you know, yeah, The Rock. I get you. I understand it. Uh, I, I honestly forgot about The Rock for a split second. But anyways, though, this was a great wrestling talk, man. Shout out to all my wrestling fans, man. I know that y'all are excited that Cody finished the story. Me personally, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of want to see Roman keep the belt. I did. Now I know that the only reason I know why he can't do the Roman. First of all, Roman needs a break. I know he got health issues, and I think he might be going into acting, something like that. I already knew that he wouldn't. Bro, Cody was getting his ass too much for him to lose. Like, you can't let him lose. All right. All right, get the game. Shut up, nigga. I'm about to get the game right now. What's wrong with you, bro? But um, he was getting his ass up too much for him to lose. He just couldn't.